Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here in West Hill. We're in the bowels of the keep, right in the middle of town. And the last few streams we've been working on this area up here and it's all finished up now. And uh, I don't know what we're going to work on today. We're going to take a little bit of a walk around and see what might inspire us. I do have a book with a checklist on it and uh, I need to figure out what's happening in this large field out front here. So we'll talk about a few things. We'll, uh, we'll see what's up. And we'll go from there. Mind Trip Media, Cosmic Dancer, Wafer Knight, Grandpa Crafter, Dan Grice. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. Crosshatch is also in the house. Hello. Yesterday on stream, we finished the Lego version of that tower. Very cool. Looking forward to uh, to seeing that finished up. So, poll for the chat, what should we put in this space here? I, I could just decorate it with more of this kind of low kind of field stuff. Uh, I'd like to do a little bit more with it. I'd like to have something interesting happening here. We do have an example of something similar on this side of town. Now the tree works here, but I don't think I want a tree out front. But we did a lot of like overgrown stuff here and this took a long time but it does end up looking pretty good in the end so i'm not quite sure what to do on the north side i know i don't want any trees because trees would be something that the, they would have cut down in order to build the wall and not have any any trees provide cover or anything like that so so like this tree is fine because it's really not in front of anything. We also have this little space here we need to decorate, but that I think is just going to be more, more of what's happening over here, like that kind of a thing. So that's it's not very really big space. That should be pretty easy. We also have got a, a little bit of a rock crop there and a rock thing here. We could maybe put in kind of like an echo of that over there would be pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. There's two spaces. Like there's this space here. And then there's this space here. And I don't want to do like another cart or something. I feel like that might be a little bit overdone. Stumps where trees were cut down. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad, bad idea. I also, I feel like this, this space here, this little weird kind of teardrop space, this could probably be informed by how we handle the wall here or the road, I feel like we could probably start off with maybe putting in some sort of hedge or it's not going to be a functional space. I can tell you that much. I mean, first thing we can do is get rid of the brown, put in some moss just to kind of get it looking decent. So maybe we'll just start with that. And then the other thing we have to work on if we want to would be this area here planning out more of the bee farm and more of the abandoned farm that's happening over here we did a little bit of road work at the end of the last stream just to kind of indicate that there might be a road that goes off that way and a road that goes off that way it would be fun to kind of plan this out too because if we do this, I think it'd be fun to have like half the roof on this abandoned farmhouse collapsed. So maybe we'll have a roof here, but then this part will be like on the ground. I think that could be a really interesting way of showcasing that. Yeah, still a lot of work to do in there. I have bitten off Quite a big project, I have to say. All right, let's just get the moss and we'll make it at least look like it's decent over there. A drainage pit? Well, that's high ground, so I'm not sure exactly what we could do for drainage. I'm, I'm tempted to start with the road and finish up the sides of the road. Maybe that's a good idea is just start here with like 
all the different textures and things that we've put in along the road. Maybe you just do that along here. Maybe put in some sort of bush or hedge or something here. That'll inform what's going on. I don't know why the road goes up so high. It's the only thing. The, the landscape does not match the road. Maybe we have to actually put in an extra tier of earth. Like maybe we need blocks up here in the same way that we have like a level here. Maybe I need to add a level, a level there. I don't know. Parked boat doesn't make any sense, crosshatch. Blast Jordan, thanks for the work and the lurk. Appreciate it. <laughs> I've bitten off quite a big project, you are realizing, says Cosmic Dancer, after three years of building West Hill. Almost four years of building West Hill. It's crazy how time flies. We've got the six-year anniversary on the Spun Chunks coming up on Monday. That's my, for folks that might not know, that's my podcast about Minecraft that I do with Johnny. Pixel Riffs. All right, let's just grab the moss box. We're going to have to go get more moss. So maybe we're going to do... Today might be some resource gathering. I know I'm, I'm low on spruce as well. So we might be doing a little bit of puttering here, but also a bit of resource gathering as well. Don't think I've ever needed that much seagrass. Create some better organized spots in here. Don't know that I've ever needed that much kelp either. Yeah, light on the moss. I might need some dirt blocks and certainly some bushes. That should be good to get us going. Thank you, Cosmic Dancer, for being awesome. You beat me to it. There's been a lot of spam in chat lately. So, a big shout out and thanks to my moderators. Really appreciate it. We are almost 1.21 ready. I am still in the process of do putting the final touches on my custom recipe pack for the stone cutter, where we use uh, the stone cutter for wood recipes. And uh, it's just, it's not hard. It's just going to take a while. So that's what we've been focusing on mostly. I think this is probably a good spot. Ah, uh, did I forget my bed? Probably did. So first things first, let's put 
a little bit of ground up here and see what that might look like. I feel like that helps make this area make sense. I think we need to leave it open like that though. And this feels a little bit straight. Hmm, 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 maybe this doesn't go there. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird to kind of have a curve the other way. Fazu Battlecaster, the 12 month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer has entered the fourth month. Thanks for the shout out for Cosmic. Cosmic, thank you ever so much for giving that gift sub to Fazu. First thing Cosmic is doing in 1.21 is taking Alistair to a trial chamber and leaving him there. <laughs> nice. That's a little bit more organic looking. We can probably fix that up with some bushes. Yeah, I don't like a block here. It's weird. Maybe it'll just have to be grass. Didn't bring my shears either. All right, we have to go get all that stuff. I'm so used to being like a one-man band traveling around with all the goodies. Forget them at home, you feel like you're naked. It's like leaving the house without your wallet or your backpack or something. That has all the things I want in it, yes. Thanks for the lurk, Fazu. Appreciate it. Yeah, that looks okay.
think that sort of works. It's a little bit overlap. I think I had something there before. Hunky, you've brought that many shulker boxes and you still have not have what you needed? Yeah, it's a problem now. It really is. Imagine we'll just go until we run into moss and then I'll have to go get more. I originally tried to like feather this out and have it transition, but I just it catches my eye every time, so we'll just finish this up. I think areas like this are kind of hard to plan. You you have to just kind of go at them. and um, noodle around, putter around a bit. It, it feels like you're wasting time, but it's hard to visualize what you might want to do. probably soften this up a little bit too. Yeah. Super fast. Good to see you. Welcome in. Hmm. Something I just realized, we should figure out where the street lamps should go, too. Maybe that will help inform what we do in this area as to where the street lamps are. I'd imagine they would be on probably the left-hand side. I guess the right-hand side. I mean, here. Oop, that's the wrong button. We're pretty good until we get to about here. I could see a street lamp being here because then it would be kind of sort of for this path as well. So I'd imagine a street lantern kind of happening in this space. Probably like one off the road about there. I feel like that would have some nice overlap. And then probably another one, but on this side. Maybe like here ish. I think that would look good. But then along here, where do we put one? It's really dark.
I guess the obvious spot is over here. But I don't think that's going to last. We'll have to put in another one. Probably here. I'm not sure why I'm always putting them so far off the road. I think I just don't like them being too close. Although this one I think is right on. Nope, that one's going to block. Most of them are going to block away from the road. I'm doing well, super fast. Thanks for asking. Yeah, doing well. All right, well, let's grab, um, I have everything but the, wo the wood. I can get the iron. I need more lanterns. I keep on meaning to try to find blocks of raw iron and use them in in what we're doing. Certainly don't need a chicken egg. All right. Spruce and dark oak. Any plans for what the first thing you might do in 1.21, aside from making sure all the things are working? I actually think it would be fun to grab some mini projects. I mean, I, it's hard because like, I still want to finish West Hill. Like I really want to get West Hill finished. Um, I might try to fix the iron farm. I'd like to put some crafters in places that might make more sense in terms of condensing things. Yeah, we are really low on on the spruce things. Do I have this in here yet? I do. And I needed slabs on the tops and chiseled on the bottom. Sorry, I think we just use these, right? Yep. Let's start, I guess, down this way. Scaffolding. Uh, any new data packs you're looking at adding to the update? Uh, Pixel Wrist was just talking about this on the Hangout this morning. Apparently, the new Armor Stand data pack, I don't know whether it's the one that I've already got ready and working in 1.20, but there's an Armor Stand data pack that lets you enlarge things as opposed to just making them smaller, uh, which I think would be a lot of fun. So let's just see if this is going to be where we want to put this. Uh, 
I like that it's hanging and pointing in a different direction. I do feel like the three of these are pretty close, but I mean, it still doesn't really light up the place, which is fine. I don't want it any closer to the intersection, but I feel like it works for most of this path. Got this little guy on this side. We'll walk around a little bit at night too. So we can dress this up a little bit. I think I like it. I think I like it where it is. Yeah, so the idea is if you put like a block in the hand or in the head segment of an armor stand, you could then make it bigger. So imagine like making a pumpkin that might be like two blocks by two blocks tall, something like that. It's I don't want to fall victim to doing too much of that kind of stuff, but Yeah, I think that's pretty evenly spaced. I don't think it's it's conflicting with anything that I'm seeing. That new lantern. So then, now that that's there, I feel like that should be okay. Aldebar, hello. I have a building question for you, Joel. What blocks would you use to texture a mud path? Mud as in packed mud or mud as in the new mud block in the mangrove swamps? Like the, the gray one or the brown one? So like this one, packed mud, or, or like a different kind of packed mud. So yeah, uh, I would say brown concrete powder. Packed mud. That's brown mushroom block. That's really good. Also very easy to get. Uh, and rooted dirt. Now, rooted dirt is hard to get a lot of. We have a recipe a data pack for it on the server where we can use dirt and roots, hanging roots to make rooted dirt. Um, but if you have some rooted dirt hanging around, I, you know, a little bit of the stripped spruce works well. It's a different color, like it's a different hue. Um, but those would be your brown ones. I feel like maybe you could swing some terracotta if you really wanted to. Might be a little on the red side. Oh, granite. If you want to add a little pink, granite would work. Also, if you do add the granite, then a nice way to add some, some extra color would be using the pink petals. So... You can use the pink petals kind of like along a border. So if you had a path like this, you can kind of use the pink petals. I mean, I didn't really put it right up against the road, but they, like th those go pretty well together as well. I'm, I'm letting the sun go down on purpose because I want to check out these street lights. Street lights. Uh, no problem, farmer man. No problem. I don't think there's anything else that I see that you could use. It certainly feels a little bit more cozy. I don't mind that either. It feels a little city-like. Like I, I feel like that might be a little bit too close. I know it technically overlaps a little bit. I kind of wonder whether we could put this one up on the next tier. What do you th what do we think? Maybe put that over here. I feel it's like a little close to that one. Well, those two are pretty close together too.
Uh, don't forget mud bricks too. Those guys. Although, depending on how worn you want the path to be, that might not be a good one. Oh, hey, look, there's another one. Stripped jungle wood would be good for highlights. Also has a little bit of a pink in it as well, if you decide to go with granite. Yeah, there's something really weird and static about that. I think I might want to bump it up to the left just a little bit. So, like, that would be over there. So, like, maybe in that space. That might be too far to the left. Yeah, maybe somewhere in between two blocks to the right, maybe. If I have the room. Oh, that is not what I want right there. I'm so sad that the tables and chairs data pack isn't going to work. I'm going to have to replace every last table and chair in this town. That might be a good marathon stream to do. Just start it and just not stop until we're done. You know what? Maybe we'll just move this all the way up to here. Maybe this doesn't have to be as big. That was close. What if we made a little one? just because it's up on a hill. I think that might be better. And still a block taller than the other one, uh, than that one. Yeah, it, for whatever reason, the, the one on the left is just a little bit too distracting for me, so I think I like the little one. I'm not letting you walk around. kind of lines up with the other lamp behind it though that's right I'd rather move that maybe this could just be the andesite wall The bees from this little house are all over the place. They fly everywhere. Which is, I mean, good and bad, I guess. Yeah, that helps a lot. 
Visual elements like this are usually good if you make triangles with them. I think that looks okay. I don't know about the, the andesite in the middle feels a little bit funny. Maybe if they're short, we remove the bottom and just have andesite. This feels like a sturdier base for a taller light, so maybe we'll just do this. And I kind of like what's going on here, although maybe what we'll do is bring the bushes up a bit and have this whole thing look like it's been overgrown. Whoops. Yeah, like it. Uh oh, I didn't realize that uh, Alistair was online. says hi joel can type honest mr matt ranger dropping in a mahusa raid holy smokes havoc tracks shreddles mr matt ranger sir hunt dt djt 99 deep sky miner wow welcome in everybody How's it going? Thanks for the shout out for Mr. Matt Ranger Cosmic. Appreciate it. Uh, folks, if you have not already, go check out and see what Mr. Matt Ranger was doing in chat or in stream. Follow that little heart at the top of chat. Go say hi. Thanks for the follows, folks. I'll just wait for everybody to come in. What were you up to on stream today, Matt? I'm assuming Minecraft, but you never know. Snuggle and Craft, that's a fun username. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Ugh, full inventory. So gross. Gray Sun, hello, hello. Alistair is in the chat as well. Farming for shulkers. <laughs> nice. I've got all of those data packs working in 1.21 as well. Double shulker shells and our shulker might from Voodoo Beard. That also works in 1.21. Folks, if you're coming in, uh, Mr. Matt Ranger was working on a mining area in your single player world. Very cool. Uh, well, this is not my single player world. This is a server. But let me just get to a slightly higher vantage point with some fancy graphics to kind of show off what we've been doing here. So we've been playing in West Hill here for three and a half years. The server itself is seven years old. That just happened this past July. And this is West Hill. This is my medieval town that I've been working on for three and a half years. And coming up in four years, actually, in November. So we've finished most of what's inside the town. There are some things in the keep that still need to be finished, but the keep is also our storage room in the basement, so I'm leaving that to last. Uh, but most of the things around the town are actually done. Uh, and we've just been spilling out into the area because the town felt kind of plunked. So uh, we've been doing a lot of landscaping, adding in farms. You can see some farms under construction there in the background. Uh, Lilac farm, pumpkin farm. The latest thing we did was this little place right here, which is a nice little cottage with a little garden in the back. Uh, and uh, we've been finishing up some of the landscaping around here. So today what we were working on is this weird kind of empty space here that I don't quite know what to do with. So we started by just adding in some of the new street lamps and doing a little bit of this bush work along the sides here, hoping that that might inspire us to figure out what's happening in this space. Really not sure what's happening over here. Um, so that's kind of what we're what we're doing right now. 
Uh, Mr. Matt Ranger says, I've been listening to your podcast for years now and always love seeing it on stream. Thanks very much. Uh, I really appreciate that you're listening to the Sponge Chunks. Uh, for folks coming in with Matt's stream, I am one half of the Sponge Chunks podcast. Uh, myself and Pixel Riffs, of course, do that every Monday. And this Monday is our six-year anniversary. So it's, good, it's a good time over on that, that podcast. I don't know what I said, Alistair. I'm not sure what use I, word I used. I don't think it would have started with P. So yeah, we were just finishing up putting some little green bits around this street lamp here. I'm not sure whether we should put a bush here. Maybe we should. Oh, are we at a moss? Getting close. Lurking while you get some food. Thanks again for the raid, Mr. Matt Ranger. Thanks again for the lurk. And uh, folks, again, go check out to see what Matt Ranger was doing in their mining area in their single player world. Oh, we're not quite there. We're going to have to do a resource run. So for folks that just came in, one of the things I like to do sometimes on stream is that when I get low on a resource, we'll pop back to spawn town and some of the farms that we have. And uh, it's not like an official server tour, but you'll definitely get to see a good chunk of the server with me walking back and chatting with chat and just kind of having a chill resource gathering time so you'll probably see some of that coming up here just a minute I had to look to see what it looks like coming this way Oh yeah, that's fine. That's very cool. Lowering this was a good idea too. Maybe we can do something similar to what we did uh, on the other side there and put like a trapdoor next to it. That could be kind of cool. I'm not familiar with, um, with Matt Ranger's content, but Cosmic says that... Uh, Folks in my chat will absolutely like it because of the uh, the building overlap. That's good to know. So if I was to put another street lamp over here, maybe one more block to the left. What am I not using here? Everybody's armed.
I always miss. I might even want to put it farther. Maybe we have to move it to the other side of the road. I mean, the road's got some nice coverage because of these lanterns here. Less fancy pants zombies, yeah. Hmm. Well, if we brought it too much farther this way, I feel like this would look like you're going to hit your head on it. So I think it's probably good we keep our distance from the slope. That or we put it farther away from the slope on this other side. So out of curiosity, if I was to put it on the other side, where would I put it? Probably almost right in line with the tree. Trying to imagine what that would look like. I think I like that better. Yeah, it's probably going to end up looking better. We'll put the whole thing in. I don't know. Which one do you prefer, chat? The one on the left or the right? I think I prefer left. Yeah, I think it just visually it's farther away from this one. Yeah. Left. Cool. Great minds think alike. Sweet. Did I? That's short. Whoops. Definitely a different vibe when it's taller, but still I prefer it. Whoops.
Yeah, I think that works. Cool. Still leaves a little bit of uh, darkness over here, though. True purple, hello, hello. That works. Sometimes you can get away with a little bit of vine action Kind of blends them together a little bit. And sometimes it doesn't. Chicken does not know what's going on. Can they not pathfind off of the top of saplings? That would be very funny. Oh no, they're good. Break time says Cosmic. Thank you very much. Good to know. All right, folks, I need to take a short break. If you're new to the channel, I do this about once an hour. Gives me a chance to uh, Refresh my water, zap the coffee a little bit, and we'll be back in about five or six minutes.
All right. Justin Tunes, welcome in. No friends hanging around. I guess with another person on the server, Alistair might be sleeping through the night. So I'd imagine we probably have one more street lamp to put in over here. My guess would be, although that's pretty close to the bridge. I don't know that we need another one. Maybe we can put it as part of the bridge. I had another one planned for there, but I don't know. Now I'm kind of thinking we put it over here. Or like I said, hang, hang something off of this. I feel like with the right design, that could probably look pretty cool. We had it over there too. I think I need it to be higher and I need more fence gates. Oh, do I want it to have a fence gate? Hmm. Yeah, probably. We'll mess around. Uh, walls, stair slabs, trap doors. We might want to try the dark oak trapdoor. And I need more fence gates. So that has to be up by a block. One, two, three, four. So on the sixth block. Two, three, four, five, six. Try something different here. Am I out of fences too? I'm out of fences too. Unless there's more in here. One. Um, I've got that one, so that should be enough. Kind of surprised I didn't do this earlier. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. Death and blow, we're good. We're full of pancakes, coffee, and good vibes. Question mark. Everybody look before the day changes. That's fine. I like that it cuts into the open space. I forgot how cool it is to have a build on an angle like that because anything you put on these front faces they kind of they come in to meet in the middle. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm not crazy about the trap door or the way that the walls connecting, so we might have to come up with a different way. I think it might be better with the other trap door. Uh, 
So let's try it with the trap, the spruce trap door. And what can we do about that wall? The wall's going to connect because it's got a solid block behind it. It's going to connect in a funny way. But the wall is unfortunately, well, that's not terrible. The wall is kind of what gives the trap door that lower, that lower look. Oh, maybe we can do something like that. That feels a little bit too sturdy. Maybe a little bit too much. Nope. That also doesn't work. I knew I was going to do that. What about an extra stair? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to fake that. The reason why it does that is because there's nothing else behind it. The moment you put a solid block behind this, it changes from that to a wall, right? So, my Rola and Death and Below, thanks for the follows, appreciate it. I didn't mind the double fence gate. That was okay. You know, I think I might prefer the um, the uh, dark oak trapdoor. Let's try. What does this look like if it's stone brick instead of this? Just found out about you. I love chill building content. That's awesome. Thanks very much. How'd you find out about us? Was it a friend? You stumble upon us on stream. How did it go down? Who do we blame? Whose fault is it that you're here? <laughs> oh, let's try the other ones. They look much better farther away than they do up close because you get the, the Hershey bar look, which I'm not a big fan of. We could just put a slab in there. And I also, I think I prefer this, the um, polished here. What if we did that with another trapdoor on the bottom? Oh no, that doesn't that doesn't connect. Right. That would be breaking the rules of Minecraft. We can't have that. Hashtag sarcasm. Saw you mentioned on a forum and decided to check you out. Wow, that's really cool. What forum was it? I didn't know that people talked about me on the internet. That's cool. 
I guess sometimes I forget that I've got one of the more popular Minecraft podcasts out there with Johnny. I think we need more, more gates. I also need more fences, don't I? Whoops. I think I prefer just the one stair on the top. People talk about you in your head? Wow. Hmm. I wonder if we used um, spruce gates instead. It's called an internal monologue. <laughs> nice. Just a Minecraft one, people were mentioning how they disliked most of the current trends of Minecraft content creators and you were mentioned as a relaxing builder. Oh, that's cool. So obviously meant as a, as a compliment. I like that. That's, that's cool. Thanks for sharing. The chicken has followed me around all stream. Yeah, no, I agree. Put an end to that. The clucking was driving me nuts. Don't know where I broke that grass from. Probably here. Anybody feel like chicken tonight? So this looks really cool over here. But I'm not I'm not crazy. My hotkeys are messed up. Not crazy about that one. Just the whole Maybe we don't need two. Maybe we just need the one. Not sure how I'm cooking the chicken, but definitely Mexican-ish. Nice. I do like Mexican food. I don't know, does, does it look better with just the one? And do we like it being entirely dark oak? That's a funny emote, Cosmic. Where that, where's that one from? 
Oh, the inventory pain is real. Um, let's put that. That. I think I might like that better. I'll try a slab as well, but I think that might be how we handle this. I think that the slab would also not connect to that um, other brick block there too. Yeah. Feels more like part of the the building, I think. Whoops. All right, well, we'll try one more. We'll do, we'll do the same thing on the other side. And now that we've got a different design for it, we'll, we'll see what this looks like. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six off the ground. And it's on the second, so one, two, three, four, five, six. This might not be as bad without the fence gates. I feel like the fence gates were making it look very busy. Major Carl, welcome in. It's from a creator called Owenge Juice. Oh, I see. Oh, I hear bad guys. Creeper, time to go. I think that looks okay. I'll leave that up for a while. I mean, like, if we have to just, if we have to take one down, we have to take one down. That's fine. I should make more emojis like that. Just never seem to have the time. All of my time that's been spare lately has been working on updating the uh, the Citadel server, getting it ready for 1.21. Does anybody in chat, since we've got a decent crew here today, does anybody in chat have a favorite furniture mod? Keep in mind, I'm looking for very simple Minecraft vanilla-like furniture. So stuff like this, right? Like really simple. And it would be nice if we also had like modern versions too for the modern city. I'm really tempted to just find something and then create my own textures. I don't know. I don't want to do another data pack because Mojang keeps on changing their minds about those. I'm on the fence about this. I like the one on the left. I just really don't know about the one on the right. We'll see how it looks coming back the other way. Nice, M-Dog. We've got some teleporters on, on this server as well. It does look cool from this side. So bonus points for this side, having the two, two lanterns. That's pretty fun. I think it's just because we're not approaching this at, the, at a straight angle, like it's a curve. So it's a little bit different, but I like it. I think we'll leave it for now. All right, well, I think we need to go get some more moss. So let's put some of this stuff away. I also just want a few minutes of a clean inventory to spare my brain the despair. I think we're good for Azalea, but we'll double check. 
We are low on oak leaves. We are low on moss. We need wood. We're okay for dark oak wood. Do not need zombie flesh. So that, that, and that. Good for insight, good for stone. And we need grass. Okay, so I'll bring this with me, that with me, bring the bushes, I've got lots of bone meal inside. Bring that and the bed. I guess I could have put all of this inside the red shulker box, couldn't I? And I think that's it from here. So we'll pop inside and see if there's anything else that I need. Uh, yeah, you were the inspiration for the teleport command. I uh, made this world eight years ago, so the train in my main area is pretty boring and uninspiring. Yeah, that's, we've got, um, that's, we'll, well, folks, you're gonna see, we've got a couple of command blocks on the server that teleport you like 10,000 blocks. And the whole idea was that we would choose a destination and designate that as a specific zone. So we're in the fantasy um, medieval zone right now. And that just means that anything that you build here should be in that kind of design. And it keeps that, you know, the overlap from like skyscrapers being next to castles and things. All right, I think I'm not going to go get more mangrove today. That is not on the list. That's a painful trip. Uh, I don't think we have anything else too glaring. Maybe carrots. I could have sworn I had more carrots around. I guess we'll get some more carrots. Carrots are on the list. Uh, azalea is on the list. We'll bring that with us as well. Oh, wait a minute. We don't... Yeah, there's not really much of that going around. We're also low on gravel. Probably not going to get a chance to collect much of that. I don't know. We got half an hour. That's fine. Just bring that with us too. Oh, we should put that back. That goes in here. Dirt goes in there. And I guess I could bring the spruce box. I think that's good. Yeah. 
Cool. Road trip. For the furniture questions, I unfortunately have only played on Forge mods in the past, so Modern Take uh, best fabric furniture mods. Yes, I guess I should be specific in that we're playing on fabric. The one that I'm looking for is furniture, but haven't tested out yet, is Nemo's Carpentry. Also wanted something simple and vanilla-esque. Nemo's Carpentry, that's really cool. Can one of my moderators um, maybe link that in the Discord so for later? If that would be possible. Appreciate it. Or K the River Cat, you could do it in the Minecraft channel on Discord. You've got a membership, so you could do that too. Well, let's walk down the newly finished North Road. All of the textures, everything along here is 100% ready to go. I really like this little cottage. It's funny how effective a trapdoor and a wall can be for making like a decorative little stand. It's cool. I haven't turned off the water ripples on my shader pack yet. The water looks very plasticky, which is not something I'm a fan of. Seventy five FPS, not bad. It's much more simple than Axel's. That's fine. Uh the one that I was looking at is called Another Furniture Mod. And the one that they're using on Infinity Cove is called something with a V. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, Cosmic's got the, the link. I'll take a look at the... I'll pop that up in a second. I just need to make sure I can get through here when it's not dark. I love this view. Reminds me of one of the hikes around here in Nova Scotia. Although I also wouldn't want to be on that hike in the dark either. Not that it would be dangerous, it would just be terrible footing. You'd be really hard pressed to see where you're going. There's a bed here in the, the tower. Man, this thing feels dated. I may have to revisit this. This is a, a build I think could be benefit from a lot of tough. New tough blocks and stuff would be cool. All right, so while we're waiting for the time to tick over to sleep, let me just see if I can't bring this up on a stream. Um, Chrome. Oh yeah, okay. That is that is pretty simple. The chairs are kind of low. Yeah. The one that I was looking at is called Another Furniture Mod. And again, the chairs are really low, unfortunately. They look a little bit strange. But uh, the actual design of things is pretty nice you've got like footstools and tables and just stuff like that that seems really basic connected planters and stuff like that uh, you can do some couches for modern stuff if you want and unfortunately i do feel like the chairs are kind of low uh valhelsia is the one that is on my patron server and is that here there it is here so valhelsia is also very simple i do like that as well uh, i believe the chairs are are they normal height alcorn the chairs they look a little they look a little chubbier like they're a little more they're they're thicker but they seem like they're the right height and then you can also do like kind of modern chairs not crazy about the texture but the shape is okay and stools
my issue is that I'm not even sure how I'm going to get rid of the tables and chairs that are currently around the Citadel. Like, it's just, they're everywhere. This is one that I particularly like. I like Paladins um, because it offers, like, simple modern stuff that would be great for, like, it feels very vanilla. Not crazy about, like, the bark table legs, but I feel like something like this in the modern city would be really fun. And that feels very Minecrafty, right? Maybe not so much that, but um, but there's like they don't seem to have basic chairs. I need a better gallery. Although these are pretty good. It does go quite in depth. Oh, there's some basic stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird modern, but also old textures. So modern design in terms of the shapes. I'm really hoping to get some very basic stuff. And I don't want to have too many mods, right? I think it was, was it Reeves that I also bookmarked? No, it was not Reeves. It was something else. Fantasy, maybe? Oh, no, it's the better furniture mod. Yep. It's this one. Yeah, see, this this feels very close to the ones that we have on the Citadel right now. The chairs are a little fancier, but they look like vanilla textures. I would maybe go in with my own texture pack and just make things a little bit different. But really simple stuff. Anyway, fun to think about. You can get rid of the tables and chairs entities with a kill command. Replacing them uh, is just a manual process. I can't break them. That's the problem that I have. See, this is supposed to be a table, but it's not. But if I go to break that, um, like nothing will happen. I'll end up with like a floating entity. It's, it's really, really frustrating. I need to talk to mini packs about it, I think. Or you, if you've got the technical knowledge now that you've spent more time on Infinity Cove. What are we looking for? Those I can grow. Moss, I think, is probably the priority, so we'll stop at the, at the moss farm first. I think I might have to run the moss farm soon. Yeah, one of the older pack breaks. Yeah. It's been really frustrating. I was, I really wish that... And it's just a luck of the draw. You know, like, we... Tables and chairs was very simple and very easy to use when we first got it, and then it just got more complicated for no real reason at all. And then Mojang changed the way that it all works. So, Moss Farm in the distance. It's an ill mango design that I turn into ours for a smaller server like us. And we have lots of goodies here. Looks like it does need to be run again soon. Uh, carpets. And I think we're good. Oak leaves, short grass, carrots. I didn't bring a box of the carrots. Now, Azalea, we have to go to the Azalea farm. A thousand entities to replace? Wow, that's a lot of work, Elkhorn. That's a lot of work. Now, I don't think we have a lot of Azalea bushes, so we might have to grow a couple. I forgot to bring bone meal. A 
Where did you come from? I... Oh, there's bone meal here. I was smart last time and I left some. I guess I should probably grow one at a time, shouldn't I? Maximize the harvesting. I probably need a hoe. So all this is is just a uh, regular plot where you can plant some trees, but there's a bit of glass at the top that keeps the trees from growing up too tall. It makes it very easy to collect everything. It's really weird doing this with the shaders on and the sun in your eyes. You're just like, I, why am oh, that's not what I wanted to do. It's like, why am I blinded all of a sudden? Yeah, I think the best way to collect oak now is to grow your azalea trees because then you're going to get two for the price of one. Although we need oak uh, leaves as well, which I think they might have even just been in here. Oak leaves? Yeah, I got lots of oak leaves in here. At least got a couple of stacks. Oh, did I not bring the oak? I didn't bring my... Oh, I did bring the bushel box, yeah. That's, I guess, good for now. Um... And then in here, we are going to need more than that. Because I use these things everywhere. Use the pack heavily? Yeah, so did I. Uh, I don't know if I've done a lot with it in the Dartmouth Meadows, maybe in the inn and some of the things farther south, but not much around here. These are mostly farm builds, so there's not a lot of furniture and stuff. And my starter house is like a 4x3 interior, so it's really not much. Is that just not going to grow? I wonder if the thing is actually impeding the growth of azalea trees. Nope. It's taking a lot of bone meal. I can't remember what's happening. I don't think there's there's no azalea leaves that actually come from the moss farm. It's all azalea saplings. So we've got lots of saplings to grow for this farm, but we there's no real automatic way to get azalea leaves. Get these last two and that'll be it. I 
There's not a lot at this stage in the game so late in a Minecraft server that I have to stop building and go collect. But I think probably just because the landscaping we're doing just takes up so much room. There's just so many blocks you end up going through. Especially with all the texturing that I do with the moss and the azalea leaves. We will also steal these. Oh no, there's no extra dirt. Where do I put... I need more dirt. Been a long time since you've been at the tree farm? Yeah, there's not a lot of reason to come back here, right? Dirt and saplings. Leave it ready to go for the next person. And we'll leave some dirt here as well. I guess there was already grass there. I didn't see that. Whoops. Right. So that is the oak and I think I'll keep those just to be sure. Yeah, there's lots here. So now we've just got gravel, grass, and carrots. Oh no, your tree farm puts out zero logs per hour. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good reason to come back to Street Farm. I think, honestly, for the time in and the fact that we don't have TNT duplication on the Citadel, I don't know that a tree farm is worth it, like an automatic tree farm. I think, um, I think manually is maybe the way to go. K Rettle, the years of commitment to this project is respectable. My intention span on a project is limited to hours. Oh man, this has been seven years. Once you hit a certain stride, you just you don't want to give up, right? Uh where am I gonna put the carrots though? Where am I gonna put the carrots? I guess I've got room in here. Good. Got the carrots. Not going to have time to get the gravel, so we'll go back. I'll just have to start growing spruce trees. It's cool coming back here with that falling leaf mod. It really adds a lot of ambiance around here. I like the fun of the designs in the nether tunnels. We kind of just went, each tunnel gets a different design for the fun of it. I like that kind of OG Minecraft server vibe. Uh, I'm, you know what? I might have, I might have gravel in the modern city rather than having to collect it. This might be worth, worth a quick check. 
So this is where I want the modern furniture for. Because uh, our cafe is all messed up. I can do so many different things in here now, too. Gravel, do you exist on the wall somewhere? Oh, yes. We probably used it all for concrete. That makes sense. That makes sense. With shaders, this looks like it's got holes in it. <laughs> Weird. So in the essence of time, I think I'm just going to fly back. All the street lights are in. I feel like it's feeling a little bit more put together now. I wish there was a way in shader packs to have lights not be so bright during the day and then have them change at nighttime. That would be a nice little data pack if, if I could figure out how to do it. Okay, I think, put that down. That's got the carrots in it, so I'll take those out. And that actually can go in here. The decorative carrot box. I will put um, the moss back. That actually is more than I planned on grabbing. Stick that there for now. So that's almost full. This is full. Actually, we can probably put that moss in there. I'm gonna turn shaders off and losing losing frames. Put that in there for now. So what I'll do next time is we need to do grass and we need to do spruce. And gravel-ish. Rooted dirt. And then this is all ready to go. Nice. You like cutting down trees in Minecraft? It's a nice relaxing task apart from mangrove trees. I really, I think it would be really fun to do like, if I needed a specific kind of tree, it would be fun to cut down a forest but leave the stumps and so actually have what looks like a deforested area near a town or something like make a logging village or something that would be that would be an interesting way to um to do that have like the the scar of the of the collection left in your world and then have the biome that you cleared out be 
a project in itself. I think that could be really fun. Right on. Well, like I said, we um, didn't get a lot done, but I like the lighting and I like the beginnings of some of the details along the side of the road here. And I don't know, like, who knows? Maybe that's all we need to do is just like decorate the edges and not worry too much about the other stuff. But I really like the lights. I like the lamp posts. I think that's working very well. Combined with some collection, uh, we're getting there. Uh, and I'm glad that I replaced those brown sides. I think that looks much better. It makes the path stand out more, which is nice too. So uh, all good. Really, really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, folks, that's where I am going to have to run. Uh, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft, though. Uh, let's just see who's live around here. There's not very many people, not as many as I thought there would be on a Saturday. That's surprising. Um, let me just see what's up. Uh, I don't see anybody. I guess we do ginger. Yeah, we'll, we'll raid ginger the lily. Ginger is a member of the this community and spawn chunks as well. I think you will have a wonderful time over there. Uh, do be sure to uh, follow the Spawn Chunks podcast on your favorite podcast app. Our sixth year anniversary stream uh, is happening live on Monday for our Discord. Uh, that, of course, will go up on YouTube and will go up on your favorite podcasting platforms. I'm also going to be recording the Citadel Cafe this week with Stephen ESC. We went to go see Deadpool and Wolverine this week, and we'll be talking about that on the show. And, of course, you can follow me here on Twitch. Follow me on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And do check out Patreon. Uh, we were talking about Infinity Cove and some of the mods and the furniture mods that are on that server. Infinity Cove is my patron server. So if you decide to support it at a certain level on Patreon, then you get access uh, every month to the Infinity Cove server, which has got, I want to say about 20 members, but we'll say between six and 10 active uh, at any given time. And uh, it's a good community, good people. Uh, Elkhorn, who is here, uh, Cosmic, who is here now, uh, are both members of that, uh, as well as Turing 79, and there was somebody else that was here earlier that I think is also on there. Um, but uh, folks, have a good time there. It's a, it's a nice place. I will see you Wednesday. Wednesday? Yes. For the next stream. And I will see you then. Yes? Okay. Bye.